Data Privilege provides a web interface for both data owners and end users. One of the key pieces of data privilege is to automate entitlement reviews, where every quarter or six months, however often IT or the organization decides, the end user or the data owner will get an email with a link to a page that shows them changes to their permissions and new recommendations that Data Advantage is making to tighten up their permissions. They can then either agree with us or disagree with us, tell us why, digitally sign the entitlement review form, and then Data Privilege will automatically execute the decisions of the data owners. The second piece of functionality is to automate the authorization process. Now that we know who owns a data set, let's get them involved in the authorization decisions. So when a user says, I need access to this data set, they can fill out a web form or have the help desk fill it out for them that says, I want access to this data set for this long, for this reason, and here's the level of permissions I need. This request will then get routed to the data owner or multiple data owners. If everyone approves, data privilege will automatically grant access to that user and on the expiration date, automatically remove them. There's an entire audit trail of this transaction as well as reports on these authorization activities. The third core piece of functionality in data privilege is something that we call ethical walls. With data privilege, Organizations can set up ethical walls so that two groups that should never have access to the same data set don't. Data Privilege provides a complete self-service portal for data owners. At any time, a data owner can see who's got access to their data, who's been using their data, statistics about usage, and even make permissions changes right through the interface. With Data Privilege, many of the manual activities that IT goes through to protect and manage that data set can be automated.